Hi everyone, my name is Eva Tuchek, co-author of Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. And in this quick tips tutorial, we're going to look at the Splop tool in Rhino. First, I'm going to create a sphere in Rhino, and then I'm going to head over to the Polygon Star Curve tool and create a star with five sides. Once we've created our star, we're going to use the extrude tool to extrude the star by 1-2 millimeters, and then we can start using the splop tool. I love the splop tool, um, there's a lot you can do with it, but I use it quite seldom and I even forget where to find it in my interface when I'm looking for it. But you can look for it in your transform toolbox under the deformation tools or as a last resort just type it into your command line and you'll see when you've created it it makes a little cage around your star uh, this is a control cage and when you splop your object onto your surface you will understand what it's for The center of your sphere will determine the location on your surface from which your object is spawning and with the little cage you can determine the rotation angle and the scale of your object. Splop tool works a little bit like a flow along surface tool so you will encounter the same kind of problems that you would have when you are placing objects on sphere like surfaces. You have to be careful about the poles and that your objects are not deformed along the surface. In this case I'm going to cut this sphere in half and I'm going to rebuild one side so that I only have to splop stars on one side for a pair of earrings or a little pendant. We go to rebuild surface And we go ahead and splop our objects again. This time you'll notice that I moved my extruded surface down to the center of my axis line. This ensures that when I'm splopping the stars on the surface that they are coming through and that the center of the star is on the surface of the object, um, not on the outside layer of the object so that we can do a little boolean union, uh, create an offset surface of our main surface. We just make that tad bit smaller so that all our stars are showing through. And what we're going to do is we're going to use boolean split to split these stars, the outside and the inside surface, away. And we delete the outside and inside, and here we go. We've got something that can already start a pendant, a pair of earrings, um, part of a bracelet, a component. And there you go, that's the splop tool.